a little push at the top. Down slowly, coming around. Perfect form, Sam. You get two more? Sure. We're doing a light warm-up set, then we'll gradually increase the weight. Good. That's smart. Perfect form. You'll get Which now, ones do you want? Let's see. I'll do, I'll try the 15. Oh, boy. Thanks. But just to show you a slightly different variation, I'll do the same thing that Kim did, but standing, pressing up and around. So I go up at a regular speed, but down slowly, and up. How often do you train your shoulders, Kim? Once a week, and I train light one week, and then I'll train heavy the next week. That way I train the fast twitch and the slow twitch muscle fibers. I like training at home. I like all of these exercises we're doing today because you can do them with portable equipment. Yeah. I'm kind of an at-home person, and um, working out at home is just so much easier for me. And it doesn't take much. Dumbbells, a bench, maybe a jump rope. And plus, you can watch your kids. That's true, and they work <laughs> out with me. We have a little um, circuit training that we do. We spend two minutes on each station, and we get a great family workout. Really? That's yeah. great. That's a good idea. Not only is Kim a role model for, for you at home, but also for our children. <laughs> okay, now we're doing an exercise for the side area of the shoulder called the side lateral raise. I think I'll do these standing. Okay. Doing this exercise seated is a little bit stricter. Standing, you can use a little bit of momentum to get the weights up there. Which helps <laughs> for me. Your shoulders look good. You can see it working. It works the side area of the delt right in here. She's holding it for a count at the top, tipping the thumbs down just a little bit. Perfect. Good, Kim. Perfect This form. is a great exercise for me because this will really help with the roundness right. that I'm lacking. <laughs> well, that's what's nice about these exercises. You can, you can look at your body realistically and figure out what little changes you'd like to make and pick the exercises that are the most effective. Good. Can we get two more? Sure. Last one. Oh, perfect. Just the big ones? Oh gosh, you challenged me. I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna so grab the 10, but I guess I'll grab the 15. <laughs> because I'm going heavier, I'll do one arm at a time. Now I like this exercise too, because I know you were saying you'd like to add a little more size on the side. Yes. So by doing the side raises, you can get fuller delts. Plus it makes the waist look smaller. When your shoulders are bigger. <laughs> nice illusion there. Since I'm going a little heavier, I'll do 10 reps. Two more, uh, and last one. Okay, switch to the right arm, and up. What's nice about these, you can do these at home or in the gym. Now what kind of um, gym do you have at home? Well, right now I'm in the process of working on putting a full home gym together. Um, I've got dumbbells, a uh, heavy bag, speed bag. Oh, you do, jump great. Jump rope, trampoline, and oh. then I have a long driveway that's, that's really great to sprint up. Have okay, point. yeah, feel that one. Okay, you want to start over? Should I move up a little? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Yeah. Got Sorry. it? Okay, now we're going to start over again with our modified shoulder press to build those shapely, firm shoulders. Good, come on up. I don't think I'll get as many reps with this one. Okay. Good, Kim. It's easy to get sexy shoulders with this basic workout. Using light weights, start off with seated presses for the overall deltoid area. Move on to the anterior or front area of the shoulders with flex appeal presses. Build your side delts with side lateral raises. A few sets of these and you can throw away those shoulder pads. Tip your thumbs down to isolate the delts even more. These can be done one arm at a time or both arms together as Kim is demonstrating. Whether you like swimming at the beach or swimming in the pool, we've got a fun cross-training workout coming.